China is making significant advancements in its military aviation capabilities, particularly in the development and deployment of fifth-generation stealth fighter jets. This effort aims to achieve air dominance and enhance its strategic posture. The People's Liberation Army Air Force is rapidly expanding its fleet and capabilities, with a focus on indigenous designs like the Chengdu J-20 and the Shenyang J-35. These two aircraft are central to China's strategy of fielding a high-low mix of fifth-generation fighters, which balances costs and capabilities. The Chengdu J-20, also known as the Mighty Dragon, represents China's high-end fifth-generation fighter. It is designed as an air superiority fighter with precision strike capabilities. Since its maiden flight, the J-20 has undergone continuous improvements. The J-20 boasts advanced stealth features, utilizing radar-absorbent materials and angled surfaces to minimize its radar cross-section, and incorporates a canard delta configuration for agility and low observability. The J-20 has internal weapons bays capable of carrying a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, such as the long-range PL-15 and short-range PL-10, crucial for maintaining stealth during combat. It can carry four medium to long-range air-to-air missiles in its main bay, and one short-range air-to-air missile in each of its two lateral bays, with potential for six PL-15s with modified rail launchers. The J-20 reportedly lacks an internal autocannon, indicating a preference for long-range missile engagements. As of May 2024, the PLA Air Force operates approximately 195 J-20s across 12 air brigades, a significant increase from about 40 in early 2022. Over 70 J-20s were inducted between July 2023 and May 2024 alone. These aircraft are strategically deployed across China's five theater commands, including Eastern, Western, and Southern theater commands, to strengthen fifth-generation air power. For instance, the 41st Air Brigade in the Eastern Theater Command and the 97th Air Brigade in the Western Theater Command are now inducting J-20s. The 9th Air Brigade became the first PLA Air Force brigade to be fully equipped with J-20s, operating about 28 aircraft. The increased numbers allow the PLA Air Force to replace older fourth-generation aircraft like the Shenyang J-11s and Sukhoi Su-27. A detachment of at least six J-20s was observed at Shigat's Peace Airport in Tibet in May 2024, indicating forward deployment near India. A twin-seat variant, the J-20S, is also under development and was officially announced by AVC in November 2024. The Shenyang J-35, also known as the FC-31 or more recently J-35 and J-35B Jerfalcon, is China's medium-sized, twin-engine stealth fighter. It is positioned as a competitive alternative to the F-35, particularly for export. The J-35 has undergone substantial development since its inaugural flight in 2012, with the recent unveiling of the J-35B variant signaling its readiness for military service and official designation. The J-35B is significantly larger than the original FC-31, hinting at a payload capacity comparable to heavy fighters and improved structural optimization, space utilization, and engine performance. It features internal weapons bays, and a main weapon bay similar to the J-20 that can accommodate at least 4 PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missiles. The J-35's aerodynamic design emphasizes stealth and agility, making it suitable for various combat roles from air superiority to ground attacks. While still under development and testing, the J-35 is expected to serve as a multi-role platform. It is speculated to have a carrier-based potential and may be deployed on PLA Navy's aircraft carriers, including the advanced Fujian, which features electromagnetic catapult systems. Although there is discussion about whether the J-35B will be primarily carrier-based or land-based, its official revelation marks a significant step in China's military aviation advancements. The FC-31 has gained international attention, with Pakistan announcing plans to procure the FC-31 to modernize its air force, and deliveries expected to commence in early 2026. 
China is reportedly offering a 50% discount on the J-35A jets, along with favorable payment terms, seen as a reward for Pakistan's military posture and deepening bilateral defense ties. The J-35 has also been marketed to Middle Eastern countries, with the UAE emerging as a potential buyer. China's military doctrine increasingly points towards a high-low mix strategy for its fifth-generation fighter fleet, involving the J-20 and J-35. The J-20 is considered the high-end fighter, characterized by its greater range, heavier armaments, and ability to penetrate enemy airspace. Its role aligns with air superiority missions and counter-intervention operations within strategic areas like the First Island Chain. The J-20 is capable of targeting high-value airborne assets, such as tankers and airborne early warning aircraft that are critical for Western power projection. Conversely, the J-35 is considered the low-end fighter in this mix. It is designed to operate in contested airspace and fulfill various multi-role functions. The J-35's potential affordability and versatility make it an attractive option for countries seeking to modernize their air forces without the high costs associated with platforms like the F-35. This high-low combination allows China to balance high-cost, high-capability aircraft with more numerous, versatile, and potentially exportable options. This strategy is similar to how the U.S. fields its F-22, high-end, and F-35, versatile multi-role fighters. Experts note that China's traditional emphasis on numerical superiority allows for greater tolerance of lower per-aircraft availability rates, as larger fleet sizes can compensate for temporary unserviceability. The J-20 and J-35 are expected to work in complementary roles, with the J-20 providing long-range penetration and air superiority, while the J-35 handles multi-role and potentially carrier-based operations. This integrated approach supports China's anti-access area denial strategy, designed to deter third-party intervention in regional conflicts. While direct official releases showing the J-20 and J-35 flying together in formation are not explicitly detailed in the provided documents, strong evidence and expert commentary support their intended operational pairing and simultaneous flight testing. The J-35B, for instance, is designed to support the J-20 within the military. Chinese state media reportedly stated in 2015 that the J-35 could support J-20 fighter jets in aerial combat. The concept of the J-20 and J-35 pairing is widely discussed as China's approach to fielding a high-low combination of fifth-generation fighters. Although a recent image purported to show a J-35 and J-35A variant flying together, this specific image does not include the J-20. However, the broader context of Chinese military aviation development indicates a push towards integrating these platforms. The Pentagon's 2023 assessment notes that China's PLA Air Force is experimenting with man-on-man -man teaming concepts, similar to the U.S. Air Force. The J-20S, the twin-seat variant, is particularly suited for coordinating with unmanned combat aerial vehicles or other aircraft due to its increased command and control capabilities. The J-20 and J-35 programs are expected to see continuous refinement. For the J-20, future enhancements include expanded weapons compatibility, thrust vectoring engine nozzles, and the integration of the WS-15 engine for supercruise capability. The J-35's evolution also continues, with ongoing modifications and potential foreign partnerships for engine development. China's increasing investment in its defense budget amounting to 232 billion US dollars for 2024, is expected to support further procurement of these advanced aircraft. These developments underscore China's commitment to expanding its military and export potential, profoundly altering the regional military balance and signaling a new era in air power.